Good morning, everyone. This is Coffee Talk. Did you see that? Vitamin water. <clears throat> so this, I've already recorded this once and I had to re-record it because I thought it was Coffee Talk number six and it's actually Coffee Talk number seven. I could not believe it. I went in and I was about ready to upload all the video and I'm like, wait a minute, I've already done six. Six, go back and watch it if you haven't already, is about um, me being sick and how I handled that. And sometimes not really well because now that Ed is gone, I have found out, and this was a 100% slap in my face, when I had my seizure, it was me, boom, down on the ground, taken right to the hospital. So I had all that care. This time I just had a, um, a bad seasonal cold or whatever you want to call it. It was nasty. I don't wish it on anyone. I found out a lot of different things that I realized how much Ed did for me. Un freaking believable. Actually, how much we did for each other. And now that I'm by myself, I had to try to figure things out on my own. Now, luckily, I am here near family, and also I've made some great friends here in Adventureland that I can depend on. Also, learn some other things about delivery services. So, I'm not going to go into that today because that's not what this video is about. So, you can go back to Coffee Talk number six and watch that. Maybe have some tips. Maybe you can add some to that to help others and to help myself when it happens again because we all know we all get sick, it's going to happen again. But today's video is about safety traveling and being safe it could be as a solo RVer it could be as a couple it could be it doesn't matter RVer nomad regular traveler just going out um, on your own some of the different things that I've learned along the way some of the things that I'm putting into place now since I am traveling by myself but I also need your guys' help. I need you to um, comment below on some of the different things that you do to keep your cell, safe self, bleh, to keep yourself safe. And some of the tips, just comment below on some of the things that I can put into play or others can put into play. And maybe you'll learn something else from me. So. The first thing that I want to talk about is my mace. I have a quick release snap mace. I know all of the mace covers, they have the end and the end of it, and then it's like the key round, put your keys on the round thing, but it's kind of hard to get off if you got it right here. And I'm always, I don't know if you've noticed when I'm out and about, I wear my backpack. Since Dora the Explorer wears a backpack, I wear my backpack. But my mace is right here on my strap, but it's got a quick release. So if I need it, all I do is do this. It comes off and I've got it. So I do that. Also, if you go back in the video that I think it was my first solo trip, I talked about and I showed you the item, a stun gun. Now with stun guns, I wanted something that didn't look like a gun because if you pull out a gun, you're a threat and I don't want to come off as a threat but I also want to protect myself. It's a flashlight and it's a stun gun. And it literally is a flashlight and a stun gun. So if someone gets that close to me, I'm gonna knock them on their butt. And if it's a male, you know where it's gonna go. Mm-hmm, yep, it's gonna go there. If you're a female, I don't care where it's going. If it's gonna go in that area, it's gonna go in that area too, otherwise, I'm gonna knock you on your butt. So I have the mace, the stun gun, and just things, uh, the extra things that I have, I've got remote cameras, they're small, they can be hidden. When I'm traveling, I don't necessarily have them up here now because I have some great neighbors all the way around me that I don't have to worry about my personal safety. 
Now, the items that I have outside, I try to keep locked up because I don't want it a temptation for someone either. But for his personal safety, I have the cameras that I put out, front, side, back, and their motion detector, motion detection as well. So I'll get a notification if there's someone not close to me. And also, if someone knocks at my door, I'm gonna get the video of them first, and I'm gonna see if it's someone that I actually wanna open the door for. But now that I'm talking about it, how do you know? How do you know it's safe to open the door? Or I can just talk to the camera. Not even open the door and just talk to the camera. That is a good idea, and I'm glad as I'm sitting here talking to you guys, that just popped in my head. I don't have to open the door. I can talk through the camera. Yeah, why would I open the door? If someone that I don't know, because how do you know someone is, based on their appearance, if they have ill intentions or not? You don't. Wow. See, talk to you guys when I get so much help. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do for that. If someone comes to my door and I don't know who they are, I'm just gonna talk to them through the camera and not even unlock the door. And just one extra line of defense. Yes, if someone wants in your RV bad enough, they're going to break in your RV, but anything that you can do to slow someone down or detour someone, you need to put that in place. So we have the mace, we have my stun gun, we have my camera system. Also when we're traveling, if you go back in my videos, I believe it was labeled my first solo travel. I mentioned I'm on the Kansas Turnpike and I'm at a service center getting fuel and I have a man walk up to me and is asking me, hey, how do you and your husband like traveling? And something went, whoop, the light went on and I said, we love to travel. It is the greatest thing that we do. Mm -hmm. I had no intentions of saying, I'm sorry, you know, my husband has passed, so I'm now, I'm, this is my first trip out by myself. Hell no, you don't tell anybody you're by yourself. So it just naturally, something clicked, thank goodness it did, and I said, you know, we love traveling together. It's been great for years. And then he's like, oh, he goes into this whole story about him and his wife and everything. And it may be a story or it may be the truth, but I wasn't going to let anyone know that I was traveling on my own. No way in hell. No, 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 no. So then it brings us to this year. When the season is over here at Adventureland, I'm going to have a travel buddy and it's going to be fantastic. We can watch out for each other. If something happens to the RV or the truck or whatever, then we've got an extra person to help with that, but also to have your back. I can watch out for that person, that person can watch out for me. Just that extra traveling in numbers is better than traveling alone. I know there's a lot of people that travel alone, and I will travel on my own, because I can't always depend on someone to be there with me and want to do the same things that I'm interested in, so I will travel by myself, but Right now, uh oh, someone just came out of their um, tent with a dog. I'm hoping Missy doesn't see it. If Missy sees it, she is going to go ape, you know what? She sees it. No, ma'am. Oh, she just got sidetracked by the neighbor. Good. Good. Okay, so back to it. Safety. I think just being aware of your surroundings is one huge thing. I know when Ed and I started traveling years ago, we were a little naive that people were good. Um, we knew in the back of my mind, our minds that not everybody's good and has good intentions but not really. Now I'm not so trusting, which is sad for us to be that way, but I'm not as trusting and I happen to see things and people. There is 
a couple here in the campground right now that is getting taken, that is taking advantage of. And unfortunately, I have seen, I've experienced that, and they're taking advantage of the management here. But that just comes down to that person is naive and wants to see good in people and wants to help people. Uh, another example, we moved, moved to Houston to run a campground there. When we got there, we were shocked on the amount of homeless people and, and people panhandling. And when we were first there, we gave people money. And then we were out and about, and we come to find out they're, they each have a territory. And they were there. And then the one time we caught the person walking away from his corner, getting into a nicer car than Ed and I would ever be able to afford. And then we found out from one of them that, oh, the apartment buildings that are down the road, that's where they're from. They make their income from people that are trying to do good. You're trying to donate for good, but they were taking advantage of the people. And the couple here in the campground is doing that, but I could see that because I've experienced it. And it's unfortunate that the manager here hasn't seen it yet. He's getting his eyes wide open. But, and I'm not saying he's like dumb or we were dumb or anything like that because we all hope as a human being that we're going to help each other and so that's what we try to do there's unfortunate that people take advantage of that so totally coming around as a solo RVer and as a woman someone can see me as weak and could take advantage of it or try to take advantage of it but like I have the video already, I'm a strong woman, and mm -mm, mm -mm, no. I do try to see good in people. I try to give people the opportunity to show me they're good. And uh, maybe that's why it takes me a little bit longer to make friends with people, because I need to get to know the person first. And when you're on the road, it is a split second decision if they're trustworthy or not. So just lead cautiously. Don't lay it all out. Oh my gosh, my husband has passed and now I'm traveling by myself, but I'm trying to continue and did it. No, none of that's going to come out. No, 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 no. And even here on YouTube, I have to be careful uh, with my location. When I'm traveling, my videos are going to be behind. When the video comes out, I'm already gone in that location. Here I'm not so worried about because I am surrounded by some great people, very safe. We have security here. So here I'm not worried about, but when I'm on the road, when you see the video, I'm already gone because you don't know who's behind the camera um, or at the on the computer or um, watching me on TV that may not have good intentions. And don't get me wrong, there are some fantastic people that are watching my videos and I love every one of them and even if you are critical and bring up things that I need to and I think the one person that really came forward was Jamie I think you probably heard me talking about him before I met him here he knew me based on our videos and when I saw him walking he goes now you're not telling people where you're at right now are you he was looking out for me and I said, yes, I am. Here, I'm comfortable, I'm safe, security. I got people right here, people right here. We all watch out for each other. And with security, I'm fine here, but when I'm back on the road again, when that video comes out, I'm already gone. So I think I can keep myself safe that way. But if you know of anything that I could add to my arsenal, of safety, comment below what that might be. Maybe I'm doing it already and I don't wanna share it because I need to keep myself safe, but you could also help others with this as well. Because we need to stick together, we really do. And it's really become uh, on the forefront. It was when Ed and I were gate guarding, but once we got away from that, you kinda let your guard down a little bit but now as a solo, 
it has to be right here. I have to be able to ensure my safety. Hold on a minute. I'm like getting all choked up again because of the cold thing. Oh, but you don't hear me going. Oh, but I am feeling so much better and being outside today. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. And I mean, a lot of things are changing for me in my life and I have to. One thing, uh, at the beginning of the grieving process, I'm beginning of trying to figure things out after Ed passed, everything is so fast and so many big decisions are have to be made, but we have to slow down and we have to really look. And uh, I don't know, I want to be out on the road and I want to meet new people, but I'm gonna be very nice to you and I'm gonna be very cordial to you, but I'm not gonna open up to you until I get to know you as a person and to make sure that you have good intentions. I don't know. There's so much to think about, especially that little girl over there. There's another thing. Speaking of that little girl over there, she's a little gal, but when she's behind the door and the door's closed and you come knock on that door, she's got such a deep bark. You think there's a big dog, so there's a big dog behind that door. <laughs> but she's definitely mama's girl and she definitely looks out for me. She doesn't like, uh, she likes to visit with people coming up. She, it's interesting that she knows when people are just kind of standoffish too trying to check people out or if you they they know they know when you have good intentions you're walking up to them and she'll be she'll bark and she'll wag her tail in a great way like pet me pet me pet me but then she also if she doesn't know you and she's got that mm feeling she's going to check you out first yeah mason on the other hand he'll just come up to you and look you so he's not necessarily a security one, but he's sure my buddy. He's, yeah, he's perfect. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. If you have any suggestions of things that I can do or others, if you could please comment below. It is something that I'm trying to prepare myself because it won't be long and I'm gonna be back on the road. And I wanna take that tool that the tool bag, the arsenal, whatever you want to call it. I want to take that with me to stay safe and to keep others safe. So I think I'll end the video. Make sure you check out the links in the video description below. It has my storefront for my merch and also not just my personal merch for Dora the Explorer. It has some other cute, quirky things in there. It's shirts, hats, mugs everything that you can think of, blankets, uh, and also if you click on the link for my Amazon, you'll go be taken, my, my link will be taken with, and if you purchase something then, I'll get a little bit of a kickback. You do not get charged anymore, but it just kind of helps support me. And also my channel member link is listed below if you're interested in that and getting the extra perk please do so. It's going to help me out. I'm looking forward to catapulting this channel off and I can start depending on some of this income so I can spend more and more and more and more time making videos and learning and making the videos even better for you. Listen to them. They're having a good time. So I'm going to end today's video and we'll see you on the next one.